Yo, what is up, YouTube? James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2019 Backtrack Battles. Today, we're using a brand new team, and this team we're using Xerneas, Yveltal, Ninetales, Incineroar, Lannis, Varian, and Amoongus. So, this team was actually one of the teams I was considering to bring to the Melbourne International Championship, uh, which was this previous weekend. I, um, when you're watching this, I recorded all these videos before Melbourne. Like, I pre-recorded this these videos all way before Melbourne. So, yeah, just to make sure I got the daily content out. And hopefully the daily content did continue because I do have to edit and render all these videos, which usually takes about four hours per video. So, yeah, hopefully all the videos will be able to get rendered by the time. But, yeah, uh, I thought this team was pretty cool. It's based off the team that Preston used to get top eight at the... Dallas Regional Championship. I couldn't remember it for a second, but yeah, it had a Feeny originally though. And I chose Ninetales because Feeny wasn't really doing much. I wasn't really bringing it, and it wasn't really helping in the matchups that were, or, um, I think it was useful for. So the problems I had with the team was I felt it was very weak to Scarf Ogre. It was very weak to uh, Amoongus. And I also had other Xerneas problems, so... Yeah, it didn't exactly help the best, especially since I needed a direct way to hit opposing Moongus. I've seen Cartana on this team, but I don't really agree with Cartana because I feel like it just makes it so weird against Amoongus because it's like, yeah, you walled him, but the problem is you want to prevent your partner from getting spored, which is like the big thing. And obviously, since we don't have Feeny, Amoongus gets a free spore off. So I chose Ninetales because of its ability to nuke Amoongus, as well as the fact that uh, it outs. It, used, it was able to outspeed Xerneas when I was looking at it, you know, it's a base 100 speed, and also the fact that Drought would significantly reduce the Kyra's usefulness in the games. So I was like, ooh, okay, let's try Ninetales out. Maybe Ninetales will be able to do something. So I'm like, okay. I tried Ninetales. Then I did some damage calcs, and then realized that Ninetales doesn't even do that much to Xerneas in the sun. Sun boosted over, he did, I think, 60%, which was very sad which is one of the reasons why i consider dropping this team but the main reason i was dropping this team was because i think this is the same problem i had with yveldon hitting these snarls is so crucial and hitting multiple snarls in a row i think this team is still pretty decent actually but it's the problem is hitting snarls frustrated me because it's like you have to hit this move so many times in the tournament and if you miss one crucial snarl that could be it for you. Also, you're playing more of a long game with this team. So when you're playing a long game, uh, compared to like a shorter t game with like an offensive team, you are more, there are more attacks going out, right? So there's more of a chance you might be hit by a 10% uh, chance, like a freeze or burn. There might be a, there are more chances for critical hits to happen. And that always seems to happen. And, you know, in best of three, especially with this, like it's very likely that I am going to get crit a lot with this team. So yeah, that's something i really just don't like about uh some slow defensive teams although this team can play offensive it's just like i didn't want to do it as we got another xy opponent okay within a bomb snow actually who um what i want to go here landers is not bad at all amoongus is pretty good against my opponent's team i think i really like the um i think i like xerneas i like amoongus yeah, I like Amoongus. I like Landers a lot, too. And I think Incineroar. I just don't really see my Yveltal doing too much. Because it's like it just stands there and just doesn't do much. It can fire off Snarl, sure. But, like, I don't think it's, like, it's too useful against my opponent's team. While my other mods can provide some usage. Especially because I feel like having double Intimidate is so great against the uh, Incineroar. Which is, like, a problem for this team. Having Landers is a great way to hit it, too. Because I don't have to rely on Xerneas. So, we'll see what comes out from my opponent here. But... I think we have a decent matchup as we're going to see the Yveltal in center lead. So, uh, pretty good for me because I did ha bring Xerneas as a lead with Amoongus, which is pretty helpful here. We could see a fake out into the Xerneas. We could see a fake out in Amoongus, which all would be good. I think I'm just going to go my Incineroar here for that Intimidate and just go for a... Uh, I could go for a Moonblast. I don't want to fake out a knockoff coming out into the Xerneas slot. Let me see how high is this guy rated. He's actually rated pretty high, so this is... Uh, you might decide to um, do something else. Um, I think just Moonblast is fine, though, because like I don't really care about fake-out damage 
if you just decide to go for fake out. I guess you could go for snarl here, but I'm not sure if you snarl immediately. Uh, we'll switch out into Incineroar though. We do get that fake out pressure off into my opponent. And the following turn, we get this Intimidate off, which is also pretty nice. Actually, maybe I should protect it because Snarl is kind of annoying. I was worried about a Roar, but if it roars, it doesn't really matter to me, right? Fake out going to come out. Price of Moongus, though, so nice. We are just able to get immediate damage off into the Yveltal, which is good because that's a Pokemon that my Landis doesn't really like. As we do a good amount of damage and lower special attack, which is pretty fantastic. As we're going to see, yeah, the Snarl. So I actually got a pretty good turn off still regardless because now I'm going to be able to go for a Moonblast into the Yveltal and I think I could go for a U-turn for momentum because I could probably get in my Landorus to threaten the Incineroar here and Moonblast plus U-turn should knock out the Yveltal unless it goes for Oblivion Wing. Yeah. So I really like U-turn as an option here. We'll go for the U-turn into the Yveltal and the Moonblast as we're not going to see a switch because it looks like my opponent doesn't have anything you can really switch into in the back. You all told to survive, which is fine. It gets another special attack drop, which is super unfortunate. But, I mean, if it's just going for Snarl, it's not really doing that much damage anyway to begin with. And I wonder what Incineroar is going to do. I'm pretty sure it's going to just U-turn out, maybe into a Moongus, because you don't want me to set up Geomancy. Uh, we're going to see the U-turn come out from my side. I'm going to go Moongus anyway. Because Moongus is so good against my opponent's team. My opponent really doesn't have the best answers to it. I guess one Pokemon I do have to worry about is a Bomb of Snow, like if a Bomb of Snow is brought here, but I'm not sure if we bring a Bomb of Snow against my team. Because I have an Incineroar, which is already kind of difficult for you to handle, as well as the Incineroar and Ninetales. So we, we are going to see Roar. I never want... I mean, I don't really get the Roar, because like, yeah, I'd be uh, plus two sp def special defense and speed, but since he went for Snarl, it's not like I'm really doing that much. I guess never want to go for Geomancy, but that's kind of the reason I never wanted Geomancy in the first place. Incineroars on these, this team don't need uh, Dark type moves since they have Yveltal, so it's like they could fit Roar on that set, and that's the main reason I just want to get rid of Yveltal, as well as the fact that getting rid of Yveltal just allowed me to gain so much momentum here. Yeah, allowed me to get so much momentum with my Amoongus. And right here, I think I'm just going to fake out the Xerneas and Sporty Incineroar because I don't see a drawback to this play. Uh, because I can see Incineroar switching out or staying in. Either way is fine for me. I just want to prevent Xerneas from Geomancing and a free fake out for my opponent. So I'm going to Spore here and fake out the Xerneas. I wonder where the Z-move is on this team too because it's not the Yveltal. It looks like it's an Assault. Was it Assault Vest Yveltal? I think it was. We are going to see Incineroar switch out, which should be the... Oh, Gastron's the last Pokemon. Okay, we have Grass Knot, which is good. As we will get a Fake Out into the Xerneas. Okay, we could have got Spore off, but this isn't bad, too. We also get a Spore off regardless into the Gastrodon slot. And we can bring out our own Xerneas. I wonder if this Gastrodon has Clear Smog, which is something I do have to worry about. But we'll go for a U-turn here into... I guess the... Xerneas. Uh, Xerneas protects here. I'd rather you turn to Gastrodon, who has to stay asleep, and I want guaranteed switch. I'm gonna spore the uh, Xerneas. It could be a switch out from the Gastrodon into the Incineroar, but no, we're not gonna see that. It's just a straight Moonblast, which is okay for me. So we're gonna see a Moonblast go off into Incineroar. Uh, doesn't proc my berry, but I will be able to U-turn out, get in my own uh, Xerneas, and then we could Geomancy, while my opponents really just can't do anything here. So we'll go with Xerneas here. And set up that Geomancy, and I think we could Grass Knot, we could Spore, we could Rage Powder here. I kind of want to Rage Powder because I don't want to see a Clear Smog into my Xerneas right here. Especially since I get the freest Geomancy right here. Uh, we could see Incineroar come in, which I think would be fine. Yeah, in Incineroar coming in would be fine. We're in a pretty good spot. Basically, we have put ourselves into a position where we can just Geomancy and go for a Rage Powder. And even if Incineroar comes in, that's fine. If Gastrodon wakes up, it's fine as well. Like, we're in such a good position, and since the Gastrodon stayed in, we are set, I think. Learning your stays asleep. And no matter what Gastrodon does, if it wakes up, I'm just gonna target down the Zerny slot. And the question is, do I want to sport a Gastrodon slot, or do I want to go for a uh, Rage Powder? Because I could see Incineroar coming in, and... In Xerneas attempting to protect there as is maybe my opponent's last field of defense. So we will be able to get Geomancy up and maybe I should just Gleam here because it cut, covers the Incineroar coming in as Gastrodon still stays asleep which is fine. I could have got Grass Knot but whatever. 
we're in such a good position where we can just dazzling gleam here and go for a rage powder because we never want that clear smog to come out into my side I could also Moonblast the Gastron, but I think that's fine too, but yeah, we're going to see Xerneas Protect, which is good, because then I can Moonblast guarantee the following turn, and we're always just Rage Powdering here. Not really much the Gastron can do. Fisher would be the worst, I guess, but I mean, even then, we just get a free switch in, I think. So, Dazzling Gleam going to come out. Almost knocks out the Gastron, but I didn't expect it to. We'll activate a Berry, 50% Berry. Should be in range of another Gleam. And Gastrodon takes a third turn to sleep. Again, I don't think Gastrodon really doing anything matters. Because now you just get to Moonblast, Xerneas, and Rage Powder. There's really not much my opponent can do here. And Sinor should be able to win the game once I get rid of the Xerneas and chip away the Gastrodon a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do here. There are multiple ways I can win this game too. If I get rid of Gastrodon, like... Well, I guess I don't want to lead this to crit, do I? I'd rather just Moonblast too, yeah. So I'm going to Moonblast the Xerneas. Should knock out a plus two as it does. So Xerneas does go down. And we're going to see the Gastrodon wake up and go for a Ice Beam. I mean, Ice Beam damage really didn't matter on the Moongus if you just kept clicking Ice Beam every other time. Yeah, like as you see, that damage really is just pitiful. It doesn't really do that much. So we would have been good even if the Gastrodon woke up a while ago. Uh, Incineroar are going to come out and take the field. I'm just going to protect and bring out my... Uh... Eh, is there a reason to protect? Not really. I'd rather just Moonblast uh, Gastrodon here and Spore, I think. Yeah, because it really doesn't matter to me. If I get rid of Gastrodon, my land this just wins. And you might just try to roar here, ex expecting to protect. Actually, what I could have done was just protect Rage Powder, right? Because then I could have sacked my Moongus getting Landis. But at that point, like, I had so many options to win the game. Like, it didn't really matter because I literally had so much free reign against my opponent. Because my opponent couldn't really deal with Xerneas. <laughs> uh, we didn't even get to bring uh, the Landis. Which would have been good against my opponent's team since my opponent didn't bring a Bomb of Snow. But... Luckily, we were able to just pull through. And, yeah. Unfortunately, none of the new members got to show up in Yveltal, Ninetales, and Landers. We actually had a Xerneas and Sinor, Amoongus on the previous team, but I didn't get... But I basically don't have any new mons for uh, new teams, and I haven't really been able to build many new teams yet. So, uh, I'll probably build some on the plane ride home from Australia, but yeah. It's going to take a while to find our next game because of that communication error. So we'll be right back with the third game, second game of today's episode. All right, we got a 1760 rated player from Japan as our next opponent. With the team of Groudon, Xerneas, Tapakoko, Amoongus, and Sinnoh, and a Braviary. Braviary is an interesting Pokemon here. Um, this is kind of weird, actually, because, like, I'm okay with part of my matchup, and I'm not okay with part of my matchup. I mean... Amoongus is kind of frustrating. So is Braviary, <laughs> because Braviary is actually kind of scary for my team, uh, looking at it, because of the fact that uh, I have double Intimidate, which isn't exactly good for me. Um... I don't think I bring Yveltal either. I think I bring the same mods. I might bring Ninetales, but the problem with Ninetales is uh, it really doesn't do much damage unless maybe I get the I get my trick off, which I do have. Which wouldn't be impossible to get, but I feel like I'd be really weak to Groudon while waiting to get that trick to happen. And it also doesn't even knock out Groudon, so... With the plus two. <laughs> so I think we're going to go with the same mods. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to lead Xerneas plus Amoongus because... Um, yeah, I'm curious on what my opponent decides to lead here. If it's going to be Braviary or if it's going to be the... I feel like you do lead Braviary. It's a double intimidate. This is a really bad matchup for me, I think. Amoongus plus Braviary plus Xerneas is not really fun for me. As we're going to see Groudon Braviary. Okay. Um... I can protect Spore if I expect my opponent to uh, just go for a... Uh, Okay, it depends on what my opponent really does here, right? Because, like, I could Geomancy, Rage Powder here, take the single target blades as, um, you, I could take the single target blades, but the problem is I'd be really weak 
My Xerneas is going to take a lot of damage. So th there's that. I could Geomancy. I could protect Spore if I expect the Braviary to Tailwind or just go for a Super Sun Sky Strike. But I'd rather not risk my Xerneas turn or my Moongus turn one because I feel like I just lose so much momentum with it. So I think I'm just going to Rage Powder Geomancy. Like, it, it's not really a good favorable time for me. So. We'll get Geomancy up. Hopefully, we'll be able to knock out the Braviary afterward. If this is Safety Goggles Whirlwind, we also cry here. Oh, but it could be Fire Punch from the Groudon. And if it's a... And then Whirlwind from the Braviary, which I guess I didn't think of. But I don't think Fire Punch knocks out the Moongus unless it's a boosted item. It is a Z move. Okay. So, I'll take that. That's definitely an okay trade. Definitely better than what it could have been. So... We're gonna see the Z move come out from the Braviary. It is going to be that Supersonic Sky Strike, which is fine. I'm gonna target down my Amoongus here, and then we're probably gonna see Precipice Blades. Let's see how much this does, because based on the damage, it's gonna determine how bulky the Groudon is. So Amoongus does go down here. And we're gonna see the pre Oh, come on. Ah, oh, why is every ground on running roar now? Okay, that probably just seals up the game, I think, for my opponent. <laughs> that was so bad. That was so bad. I guess maybe what I should have done was lead Landers plus uh Xerneas actually. Just go for Rock Stream and Gleam. I was worried really worried about Xerneas plus Braviary lead, but Yeah that didn't work out great for me at all, did it? <laughs> We'll go for a Rock Tomb Gleam here, because we gotta get, try to get rid of Braviary. Groudon's not really too much of a threat. Luckily, I still have a Z-Move, so at least that's a positive, but... Yeah, without dealing damage to the Amoongus, it's still really tough, it looks like. We're gonna see the Groudon retreat into the Incineroar. Ooh, so you might even live the Rock Tomb plus the Gleam here. Ah, uh, Maybe if you're a Frail Braviary, I can KO, but we're gonna get you the plus two, which is the worst part for me. Oh, Braviary protects, so that's actually fine. So we're gonna go for Gleam here. And a Rock Tomb. We're probably just gonna see Fake Out into... <sighs> this is really bad. You Tailwind now, and I can't do anything, can I? I can knock out on Sinora, but giving you a free switch is not optimal. Yeah, I pretty much don't see a way out here. I don't see a way out, actually. You just tail and fake out my Xerneas. If I had Rock Slide, maybe I could go for it. Wait, oh, and the Landers, actually, instead. Moonblast, can we crit? Oh, wow, that Moonblast did a lot less. What? Wait, that Moonblast did less than half? Or did about half. It did less than half. That's a bulky Braviary, too. Um. I mean, either way, I just don't really see us being able to win this game. Because I'm going to go Incineroar here. Hope that he Braver the Landers so I can uh, maybe come back with the Xerneas going for Gleam here. Getting chip damage and hoping Landers plus the weakened Xerneas can come through. Because I think it's a Flare Blitz. But it could just be Braver Flare Blitz double up. In that case, what I would probably have to have done was Sword Sense. No, but even if I Sword Sense, the Braviary just threatens the Landers the following turn. So either way, like I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> Regardless, this Braviary <laughs> doing way too much work against me as the Brave Bird. It does target down the uh, Lander slot. It yeah, just Oko's my instant or jeez. Just Oko'd my instant and Snarl actually. Oh, that's even worse, I think. Ah, that. I mean, it's not Flare of the same age and my Xerneas is still alive, but if we don't knock out the Braviary here, we're in big trouble. Okay, we at least not got the baby. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, we'll go Landris here, and I think Xerneas comes up for my opponent, and then I play a 50 50. Yeah. Hmm. I think I Moonblast the Xerneas. Hope for a crit. I think that's my app. 
began to emulate Alpha into the Incineroar. Because I think you just Moonblast Flare Blitz, and if you get it, you win the game. Because I don't think you have to Geomancy here. That's the thing. I just don't think you have to Geomancy at all. I think I'm going to Moonblast the Xerneas and hope for either a special attack drop or a crit. And hope you don't go for your own Geomancy. That's basically what I had to go for. Because I don't think there's much of an out here if you just Moonblast Flare Blitz the Landers and I lose the game. I guess you could Geomancy. Oh, you're going to Protect instead. I guess maybe you're just gonna try to get it. Uh, maybe you're scouting for my protect, which is smart too. Also, the, yeah, I like the protect play actually. Even though it's a wasting turn of Tailwind, I think it's fine. Uh, you turn. Wait, that guy's sword stands there, and you would have been in a weird spot. Okay. I thought it was gonna be Flareless just trying to get damage on Landis. Sun fades. I need a double protect, I think. Uh, or do I expect you to Geomancy and attempt it? I think I'm going to attempt to uh, catch a Geomancy. Because it might be my only out at that point. I really think you should just move less Flare Blitz here, though. I really don't see a reason not to. Or switch. Which is smart, too, I think. Uh, oh, maybe you're just trying to get Xerneas next to Instant so you could fake out the Geo safely. I think that's what you're trying to do, actually. Or maybe you're just a... I don't know. If you're slow Xerneas, you could just attack. Maybe you're just really worried about me getting a double. Because that was probably my out here. I should have went for the double anyway, because the double might have put me in a decent spot. We're going to... I don't think we're going to knock out Groudon either, because uh, the minus one from Snarl, too. So we're just getting played around right now. They're just gonna come out. Just uh, Moonblast into Groundium. We are faster than the Groundium, which is nice. So maybe we knock it out? Oh, I doubt it. It's Jolly Lando and a really bulky Groundium if it has a roar. You would assume it's bulky because you want to assume that it at least lives one Moonblast from a Timid Xerneas. So we'll get a Tectonic Rage off, but. This shouldn't be enough. And then, and even if it is, like, my opponent gets a free switch in instant, which is not ideal. Yeah. Like, it's barely not enough. Uh, Tailwind Peter's out. I gotta hope for a crit, I think, at this point. I have to Earthquake myself and crit to Xerneas with uh, either Earthquake or Moonblast, I think. Potentially both. So we're going to see the switch out from the Groudon into the Incineroar. Okay. We protect here, maybe I have a shot because I still have a chance to crit. Again, I'm going for a crit no matter what. So... We don't see a protect here, Moonblast. We need one crit. I think good damage and we got a special attack drop, but I don't think the special attack drop really matters. Oh, it is slow, Xerneas. Did my opponent forget there was Tailwind up because he could have Moonblast Flare Blitz? Yeah, we don't get the crit. And then we're going to see Geomancy and then into Dazzling Gleam, and that's going to be a good game. There's really not much I can do here. So we will see Geomancy come out. And that would be a good game. Because... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Were there other turns I could have... I don't know. I think maybe I had to lead... Lando, Xerneas, but the problem with leading Lando, Xerneas, as you saw, is even if I led this, right, attempting to knock out the Braviary, I couldn't knock out the Braviary. <laughs> it was such a problem, actually, because the Braviary ended up living, it would have lived Moonblast plus Rock Tomb anyway, based on the damage I, I was doing to it, so, regardless, like, I couldn't do anything, so we're gonna forfeit, and I think we're gonna try one more match if we have time, like, if, I have a limited time to record, so, um, if I can get... If I don't get the communication error and we find the game quickly, I will uh, play the game. But if not, I'll do the outro. But yeah. Uh, what could I have done there, though? Maybe I should have led Ninetales and attempted to overheat Nuke. But if it's Max P... I don't think it's Max P Bravery right now that I think about it. Because, like, it was bulky. It survived. I guess turn one, what I should have done was not Geo right away. But I... I wasn't really sure if the ground carried Roar. So I guess that was one mistake. I guess I should have just Moonblasted the... Uh, Braviary and hoped for a uh, two hit knockout, which wouldn't have been too bad. Yeah, that might not have been too bad. 
I was hoping what they could have done afterward is if brought him up for precipice blades. I was hoping to get uh, Incineroar in, bait a double protect in, or a switch, and then I'd be able to gleam and then switch out in my landers and get a double intimidate off. So maybe that uh, single target precipice blades into a minus two spread precipice blades doesn't knock out my Xerneas. As we got our next opponent here with the Kyogre Xerneas team. Okay, pretty standard Tornogre. Uh, this matchup is where Ninetales can shine. This matchup is where Ninetales can shine. Okay, perfect. We can go Yveltal Amoongus. Oh yeah, Cartana was another one of those weird Pokemon that was, this team was kind of difficult for. Um, yeah, we're going to go with these four. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit weird, though, because it really depends on A, the item on the Torn, because... It, and Kyogre, I guess. But there are a few things that are to note. One, what kind of item is the Torn? Is it Flying MZ? If it's Flying MZ, it's why I kind of like switching out into uh, Ninetales every time. <sighs> we'll see how this goes. Like, Ninetales is basically to buy a turn, so I can at least get one Snarl off and weaken my opponent's team, which is pretty crucial for this team. And yeah, I'm pretty sure what I'm supposed to do against this team is always lead. Yveltal plus Amoongus, unless I already know that the Torn doesn't have Rain Dance, and I could then lead uh, Ninetales plus Yveltal, but yeah, I'm not going to lead that here. As we are bringing the Ninetales, let's see if it can do work. It's mainly just for the weather support right here. We're going to see the Torn ask Kyogre. I'm always switching the Ninetales here and clicking Snarl. It is my best play here, and because I need Amoongus around, because it's my best Pokemon to deal with, like, Xerneas, so... Let's see here. Go for a snarl. And switch out Amoongus into the Ninetales. Yeah. It covers a lot of plays, especially if this is Scarf Ogre. If this is Z Hurricane from the Tornadus, like if it knocks out my Ninetales, I, I'm just playing such a good position. Even if that doesn't happen, because we have this. We'll have the sun up and this Kyogre at minus one, so... And we break Tornas's potential Focus Ash. So, well, if it's Z-Hurricane, it doesn't matter. But at least we weaken the damage, so we can bring a Moongus in, potentially. So, we'll go Ninetales here. And let's see. A Taunt coming out, straight into Moongus, so that's perfect. So, Water Spot's gonna come out, and what's nice about this is... Oh, wait, it's not a Scarf Kyogre, it's slow. We get Snarl off, which is actually pretty nice before okay and a water spout so that's perfect this should s well this activated citrus berry no it doesn't even do that wow okay um that's pretty nice that is pretty nice actually i'm gonna snarl here go hard Zernius. go hard amoongus i think go hard Zernius. yeah i'm gonna go hard Zernius. One, there could be a Rain Dance, I guess, two. This is a slow Kyogre, so I wonder if it's one of that Psych Up Kyogres. Cause I don't, cause my Yamato is like slower than max speed Kyogre Modest, so I think it is like a bulky variant. So we'll bring out the Xerneas here, we'll Snarl again, and we'll be put in a decent position as we're gonna see the Kyogre retreat, something's coming in, something's taking a Snarl. Senor's coming out, which is fine. Uh, cause our, the problem here is always with the Brain Nine tells us the Incineroar, which it wasn't exactly the best call for me, but I think this still works out. Oh, it's Rain Dance coming out, so. I don't get why you're race wasting the Rain Dance here. I guess you wanted to have Torn take less since it does not protect. Actually, that's smart because Torn is necessary, I think, for my opponent, so we'll get a Snarl off. But this works out beautifully for me. Yavato is also faster than the Kyogre, so I can keep clicking Snarl always. But since this is Rain Dance, this makes it a bit more complicated. So we'll go for Snarl here, and I think we're actually going to go for the Moonblast into Torn. The reason we're going to go for the Moonblast into Torn is we want to get rid of the Tornadus, I think. Because getting rid of Tornadus means my Amoongus is safer, as well as the fact that we get rid of the Rain Dance option, which means my Ninetales can come in. And not have to worry about that. As we're going to see Taunt into Xerneas trying to prevent the Geomancy. Uh, that works out fine. As I will be able to knock out the Tornadus. And no Tailwind is actually pretty good for me. Since my Yavatsu is still going to be faster than the Kyogre looks like. 
Uh, it's not bulky berry. I think it is Z-move Torn. As we do get rid of Torn, which is nice. And we got decent chipping in Sonora, so we're in a pretty nice spot here. Uh, let's see what my opponent decides to do. It's going to be the U-turn. Yeah. Into your battle. Yep. Zarin is probably coming in for my opponent. I would assume. I would assume so. I do need... I don't need either of these Pokemon alive, do I? Zarin is going to come out. Uh, then the Incineroar is going to come out. The question is, what do who do what do I want to do? I kind of want to snarl here and go out into a Moongus. I could also just Moonblast here for damage into the Incineroar, which wouldn't be a bad play either. So I got options here. I think anyway, you would fake out my Yveltal. So I think I'm actually just going to Moonblast the Incin. Yeah, I don't even need Xerneas alive. That's the thing. I really don't need Xerneas alive. We're gonna go a Moongus here. We're gonna go for the Moonblast into the Incineroar. Always the play. Yeah, because you're gonna fake out Geomancy here. Because I think it's your, like, your best opportunity to go for the fake out Geomancy. And if you do that play, that's fine too. Because here's the thing. Moonblast, if it does to a KO the Incineroar, what I'm trying to do is Moonblast the Incineroar. Then get in my Moongus right. And then if you try to double up my Moongus with like Dazzling Gleam or Moonblast into Flare Blitz. Um, it'll be a fine position for me because of the fact you won't have your boost. So yeah, we'll get a Moonblast off. It does look like a 2 KO. But Incineroar didn't... Oh, Incineroar didn't go... Did you Heart Flare Blitz read? Or did you U-turn? You might have U-turned trying to get the Psych Up thing off. Would that really matter though? I could go Nine Tails, but maybe my opponent wants that. Maybe my opponent's trying to bait me to bring Nine Tails out. Yeah, you're U-turning here. Into the Amoongus. Who still okay? I think it's like up on the Kyogre. I want to sport a Kyogre slot. I want to sport a Kyogre slot. I think it's very likely that Xerneas might protect here too, and either Incin comes out or Psychop comes out. I'm gonna go for the Moonblast into the Kyogre and just go for the Spore. Although maybe I should keep Xerneas around because now that I'm thinking about it, it's my best answer against the Incineroar because once Incineroar comes out in Sun, it's actually kind of a threat. So maybe this wasn't the best play, but I mean, I guess Spore off in a Kyogre, unless it protects here, but I don't know. I don't think Protect and just Moonblast, that'd be a really hard read. I don't think it's absolutely necessary to make it. Last turn of Taunt. I feel like Xerneas should always just Protect here. Yeah, we're going to see the higher retreat into the Incineroar. So if Xerneas does protect here, this actually works out because I'll be able to knock out the Incineroar too. Then I could just bring out Ninetales and click Spore, I think, and that should win the game. Yeah, perfect. Nice, I got the read right. Uh, this worked out beautifully. We get a Moonblast off, we'll target down the Incin. Like, I'm playing super aggressive here, but I mean, I think I had room to. And even if, like, let's say, we get a crit there, but I don't... If we got the same roll as the last time, it looked like it would have KO'd regardless. We attempt to Spore, and now we just get Ninetales in. We click uh, Spore into the Xerneas. And yeah, we should be good. So Kyogre going to come out. Probably is that Psych Up variant. So we'll Spore here. We'll go out into the... Nine tails. Yep. Nine tails might even be able to live a moonblast. I think your hope is to uh, moonblast my Amoongus and go for the psych up here. I think you have to go for a moonblast crit, but that won't knock out my Amoongus. Unless it's moonblast crit in a water spout, which I don't know if it KOs with the sun up. Let's see. Dazzle and Gleam, which is fine. That activates my Citrus Berry. I'm not really too worried about the Kyogre. Like, I'm really not too worried about Kyogre on the sun. Yeah, it is Psych Up. No surprise there. Uh, we got Spore off into the... Xerneas, and we clear Smog. I never want the Xerneas to get an attack off, do I? 
Uh, we'll retreat here, and Ninetales kind of did his job. I think I'll just go for a Psycho Peer attempt. I'd rather get the free switch into maybe my Yveltal. So, we're gonna see Protect too, so this works out, because I actually get a Psycho Boost, so I can overheat the... Oh, I get a plus two overheat into the, into the Xerneas, oh no! <laughs> All right, so we get to psych up with our nine tails and clear spark. This looks like the brain play of a century. Like this is literally the best play ever that someone has ever done. Okay, we're gonna go for a clear smog into Kyogre. We could go for spore, but I don't think there's a really big reason to. And we'll just go for the overheat. At plus two, we should be able to knock up the Xerneas. So yeah, this works out actually better than I thought. As a match is going to be for me because my opponent literally did not care. I don't see a reason not to go for Water Spout, but I guess maybe my opponent was like, um, Oh, that you target down to Kyogre with a Spore, but like, really, I think the Xerneas was the bigger threat because, like, Kyogre on the Sun, like, would probably still just lose to my Ubeltal, clicking Sucker Punch, or I could just keep snarling because Water Spouts aren't really doing that much in the Sun, even at plus two. I mean, it'd probably be doing like a neutral Water Spout out of rain, so. I think that'd be kind of fine because like my Pokemon could probably easily take those attacks, but yeah uh, We would have been good regardless if I get rid of Xerneas there. I'm in a good spot, but <laughs> I can't believe we actually got that off, but hope everyone enjoyed today's episode of VGC 2019 back to work battles If you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below show some support as well as you can check out the rest of my stuff down below in the description Such as my social media the size here's on my channel and all that other good stuff will be linked down below as well as you can check out the pacement of this team if you do want to go try it out and we are having a like goal for this team 175 likes is the like goal for this video and all the other videos we use this team and if we do hit it within the two weeks of the final episode being uploaded we will have a qr code of this team otherwise that's pretty much it and if you do want to check out my uh, social media i should have probably mentioned this my twitter twitch instagram accounts they are linked down below as well and if you do want to go that extra mile to support me there is my patreon page link down below but you can always support this video by leaving a like especially if you enjoy it leave a comment down below and of course subscribing and sharing this video with your friends otherwise that's pretty much it have a great day people until we battle again i'll catch you all later